Hey guys, it's Mike. It's Sarah taking a look at the final volume of the Animaniacs DVD series, Animaniacs Volume 4, a three-disc box set released in February of 2013 by Warner Home Video. So you surprised this was released in February of last year? Yeah, they really slacked on the Animaniacs DVDs. Volume 4 was released in, I believe, 2007, I think? Though, it took them five years to release the final episodes of the series. The going over the packaging, like the other volumes, the front and the side is embossed. It has that nice, like, like 3D-ish feeling. You can actually see it in the light. Though, unlike the first three volumes where it's the Warners running away from the water tower with a weird motif in the background, this one only has the three Warners busting out of the water tower with a blue sky background, so... It's kind of cool. As you can see from the side, it's really thinner compared to Volume 1 and 2 and 3 because it's only one box. Not as big. Three discs only. So, let's read this little passage right here. I'll actually, I'm going to cut for that. Okay, so we have a better view of the back. Now let's read the back. Animaniac, you'll... F that's actually kind of hard to say. Animaniacal fun for everyone. The fourth and final volume of the Emmy Award winning series. Reunite with your favorite cast of characters, Yakko, Wacko, and Dot from the Warner movie lot in their fourth and final volume of Outrageously Zany Animaniacs Adventures. Anytime this rowdy bunch of misfits comes together, whether they are putting on a twisted spin on a classic tale or charting insane new territory, hilarious hijinks are sure to follow. So catch up with the whole gang, including Slappy the Squirrel. The Good Feathers, Bada Bling, and Dr. Otto Scratch and Sneef, as they set out to conquer the world, seek answers to life's biggest questions, and skewer and a maniac's m entertainment's most treasured icons along the way. This gut busting 3 DVD collection saves the best laughs for last. And in the, ba in the back cover art has Yakko, Wacko, and Don, within the background is like a silhouette of palm trees and the water tower. There are no special features, though it is, of course, licensed by Warner and Amblin Entertainment. These are Region 1 DVDs and are still in their same, like, the square shape aspect ratio. I can't remember what ratio it is from the original television airing, as said down here. Now let's take a look at the DVD itself. Okay, so for the disc itself, the cover's actually back here. It's only one DVD box. There's only three discs. Nothing that special for the disc art. It's Yakko on disc 1, Wacko on disc 2, and Dot on disc 3, with like a reddish motif of the Warners coming out of their tower. So closing that up, now let's take a look at the episodes included on here. Let me just see if you could read that, let me focus it. Yeah. Disc 1, episode 1 is Gimme the Works, Buttons and Owls, and Hercules Unwound. And the final episode on disc 1 is the Slappy the Squirrel half hour special, One Flew Over the Cuckoo Clock. And episode 7 on disc 1 I actually really like. It's it's all the musical sketches. Wacko's two-note song, Panama Canal, Hello Ness, I wish you'd take care of me. The Ballad of Magellan, The Return of the Great Wackerati, and one of my favorite Animaniac songs, At the Big Rap Party Tonight. Disc 2 starts with the famous Cutie and the Beast, Boo Happens, Noel episode with the really funny cold ending. And Moosage in a Bottle, Back in Style, and Bones in the Body. Then Disc 3 starts with one of my favorite Season 5 episodes, It, Dot the Macadamia Nut, and Boy for Skippy. I really love the Macadamia Nut song. And then the final episode of Animaniac, episode 24 of all this of all the discs and disc three the final episode on disc three is birds on a wire the scoring session and the animaniac suite the final episode of the series so and that's pretty much that for animaniacs volume four now let's move on to availability so that's pretty much animaniacs volume four and it's really awesome episodes i love a good portion of the episodes on this as mentioned in the earlier volumes i did get this for christmas so since it's a lot less bulkier and has less DVDs uh, in it, this should actually be a whole lot less than the first three volumes released singularly. So, if you're actually going to buy the volumes one by one and not all together, Volume 4 should actually be a, way, a whole lot less than the, uh, the earlier three. So, 
I just say definitely pick this up if you have the first three, or actually pick up the whole collection. I definitely recommend it. All four, all four volumes of Animaniacs gives you all ninety nine episodes of Animaniacs. Yeah, they quit before a hundred. So definitely watching for episode one, Desanitize the Monkey Song in Nighty Night Tunes to the final episode, the Animaniac Suite, Birds on a Wire, the scoring session. Definitely worth the money if you're gonna get the entire collection. I'm not gonna be reviewing any anime any other Animaniac side DVDs unless it's either Pinky and the Brain Volume 1, the Tiny Toon Adventures movie, or Pinky on Myra and the Brain the Complete Series. Total waste of a series. Brain hated it and it only ran for a season. So if they ever release Wacko's Wish on DVD, I'll definitely be getting that and reviewing it. So I probably expect that, or keep an eye out for notifications from Warner Home Video. I'm definitely going to get Wacko's Wish if it comes out on DVD officially. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you are still following my schedule from the New Year update video, I am going to be doing Disney Infinity reviews after this. So thank you for watching, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this. Stay tuned for Disney Infinity reviews coming your way. We're going to start with the starter pack and move on with accessories after that. Have a good night, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye, nurse. Good night, everybody. See you next time, guys.